Hello guys, welcome to another Sedali recap. I'm not in Sedali at the moment, I'm orbiting the planet in my Cobra. This week in Sedali, we've had a few issues with the server. These have been resolved, it was just one file Preston forgot to move to the bigger storage in the S my SQ yeah, my SQL? I think that's it. And also we're going to be having our beach bash next weekend. There'll be details from Preston on the website about timings, etc. As he's the one that's making everything look fancy. On top of that, we will be having our build-off for a country club starting Monday at midnight. That's, like, this Monday. And it will be going on until next Sunday. The theme is a courthouse, but because we also want to have new jails, we'll be requiring holding cells. If you do want to participate, it will be slash warp build-off, and there will be a rule book going into much more detail. I've also got some pretty positive feedback about my Halloween event. I know it's a while off yet, but it's good to start preparing for it now, as it's going to be a pretty big event. We're thinking about whitelisting the server when it starts, so the survivors are the only ones left. The event will be on for an hour or two. Uh, we'll try and increase the amount of people that can get on at once, and also don't forget, if you're a donor, you can access the server when it's full. There'll be a story that unfolds within the vault, if you didn't know it's a Fallout theme, um, headed by the Overseer, and you'll be staying there while a the Great War rages on outside. Basically, it's going to be awesome. Now for the player suggestions, my favourite part. First up, we have a weekly lottery. Uh, before the map reset, Edwin was making a casino with a weekly lottery. Uh, we can try to combine our efforts and uh, get this going again. Stop players from seeing Slash List when they join. I've never had an issue where Slash List will fire off and I'll see everyone that's online. I do know that it just lets you know that you can use Slash List to see online players. I don't think we'll be changing that. Get money for every mob kill. I don't think we'll be doing that. Sell books at Eureka. Okay. Uh, we'll put it in the Enchanted Bookstore, or maybe even that library we were thinking of where players can sell stories. High donors are able to use Color Chat. We've tried this many, many times, and it's always been abused with people doing fake broadcasts or making people think they're staff, etc. We do, however, think we could maybe try this with our subscribers, as there's less of them. But I will tell you now that if it gets abused, it will be taken away. You'll be able to do colors, but not format codes. More set homes. Uh, we all think we have a good balance. The max is 10 for non-staff. A post office. Uh, Preston has always wanted a plug-in where we can put something in a chest and you can pick it up from any chest in a post office in any city. Unfortunately, we've not found that one special plug-in, so the search continues. An event where players have to collect mob drops. Uh, my Halloween event will feature this. A meow button. Wow, you guys are going crazy for these buttons. I'll look into that. Event tokens given out for participating in server events used to buy rare and exclusive stuff. This is literally every Sedali event ever. Brewery plugin or something similar. Uh, we had brewery, but we took it out. Lower the obsidian price. Uh, we will have our economy experts look at it right away. Uh, Bimbi, where are you? Have countries on the map. We could make regions that appear on the dime map, however, we fill this with uh, maybe start fights between different countries, like in the real world. <laughs> we are united on Sedali, and we may be doing it for Gilladon or something similar. Server shops sell red sand and red sandstone, since there is no buy-in with it on the map. Uh, we will make red sand available at the same price as regular sand. Make a beginner's guidebook. Uh, there is a help dog where people spawn, as well as a help desk, and an info guide on the forums. Not much more we can do to help new people out at this point. Make the dirt button in Eureka, spin players around. I may get rid of the dirt button altogether because when you move it like teleports you and it fires off the Eureka greeting message, pretty much spams you. Uh, I will most likely replace it with the new meow button. Shop where mob drops can be sold to the server. When mob drops come in all shapes and sizes, it's very hard to have a shop for everything. Sorry. Make pumpkins grow faster. We will not. We will not do that. Something about random shards in a cube that makes special gear. Uh, ask Operation Tech about this kind of stuff, as it requires its own video to explain it. Helper meetings. We have them. Ask a leadership team member. That would be... Vice Knight, Malia, or Oreo to see when they are held. And that's it for the player suggestions. Our citizens of the week are as follows. Citizen. No one. I asked the helpers for their input. They can come up with any names. Sorry guys. Helper. Cat. 
for our hard work with the players. Mentor, Bryston. He has been away for a while and since he's been back he's pulled his weight and gotten on with everyone that's new in our community. Admin, Zane, for dealing with a player in a very professional manner when Edwin was about ready to ban them. Good on you. And Senior of the Week is Edwin, for wanting to ban that kid but having the strength to hold back when any other senior would have failed to do so. That's some courage you showed there, my friend. Donors of the Week are Dat, Bat Boss and Dithes for purchasing premium donations. So thank you for helping the server carry on. Oh, and also before I go, I'll be hosting an open mic, open mic night on Fridays. I'll uh, make a stage and you have to be on TeamSpeak. But basically, if you want to tell a story, sing a song, tell some jokes, just arrive. I'll record you. Hoping to get at least like three people to these a week for a cool video. I'll also be starting a forum post for fun facts that I'll read out at the end of the recap along with who suggests it. I'll obviously get the ball rolling here to start. Fun fact, eating banana is better than getting impaled. Have a fun week guys and I'll see you on the server. Bye!